Ever wondered about the difference between probation and parole? They might seem similar, but are they really? As we begin our journey into the world of criminal justice, two terms often come up, probation and parole. At first glance, they might seem like two sides of the same coin, but upon closer inspection, they reveal unique characteristics that set them apart. So let's take a moment to define these terms and understand their unique roles within the justice system. Probation, to start, is a type of criminal sentence that allows a person to stay in their community rather than serving time in prison, as long as they comply with certain conditions. These conditions may include regular check-ins with a probation officer, mandatory counseling or community service, random drug tests, and of course refraining from committing more crimes. Essentially, probation is a chance for offenders to prove they can adhere to the law outside the confines of a correctional facility. On the flip side, we have parole. Parole comes into the picture after an offender has already served part of their sentence within a correctional facility. It's a conditional release that allows the individual to serve the remaining part of their sentence within the community under supervision. Similar to probation, parolees must follow a set of conditions, which, if violated, can result in a return to prison. Parole is a way for offenders to reintegrate into society while still under the watchful eye of the criminal justice system. At their core, both probation and parole aim to strike a balance between punishment and rehabilitation. They provide opportunities for offenders to rectify their behavior, reintegrate into society, and hopefully reduce the chances of reoffending. However, the path to these goals is where probation and parole diverge, setting the stage for a complex dance between the individual the community, and the justice system. Now that we have a basic understanding of these two terms, let's delve deeper into each of them. First up, probation. What exactly does it entail? At its core, probation is a type of criminal sentence that allows the offender to live in the community rather than serve time in prison, under the condition that they follow certain rules and guidelines set out by the court. It's a way for the justice system to give individuals a second chance while still holding them accountable for their actions. The purpose of probation is twofold. Firstly, it aims to rehabilitate the offender, providing a structured environment where they can make positive changes in their life. Secondly, it serves as a deterrent, making it clear that further criminal behavior will not be tolerated. Now, probation isn't something that's just handed out willy-nilly. It's given at the time of sentencing, and it can be in lieu of, or in addition to, time in prison. The decision to grant probation is at the discretion of the judge, who takes into account factors such as the nature of the crime, the offender's past criminal history, and their potential for rehabilitation. So, what are the conditions of probation? Well, these can vary, but there are some common ones that you'll often see. One of the main conditions is that the individual must regularly check in with a probation officer. This officer plays a crucial role in the probation process, monitoring the offender's progress, offering guidance, and ensuring that they're sticking to the terms of their probation. Other typical conditions include attending counseling or treatment programs, undertaking community service, maintaining steady employment or education, and of course, avoiding any further criminal activity. The offender may also be required to refrain from alcohol or drug use, and they may have restrictions on travel or curfews. Breaking any of these conditions can lead to serious consequences. The probation can be revoked and the offender can be sent to jail or prison to serve out the original sentence. So, that's probation for you. Now let's shift our focus to parole. On to parole. How does it differ from probation? Parole, similar to probation, is a form of conditional release, yet, it's important to note that it's not the same. Parole comes into play after an individual has served part of their prison sentence. It's not a get out of jail free card, but rather a privilege earned by demonstrating good behavior and the potential for rehabilitation during incarceration. The purpose of parole, it aims to aid the transition from prison to the outside world, allowing individuals to reintegrate into society under supervised conditions. It's a second chance, an opportunity to rebuild one's life while still being held accountable for past actions. Now, on to the conditions of parole. They are strict, and failure to adhere to them can result in a swift return to prison. The specifics can vary, but let's discuss some common ones. 
Firstly, regular meetings with a parole officer are mandatory. These meetings are crucial as they enable the officer to monitor the parolee's progress, provide support and ensure compliance with other parole conditions. Secondly, maintaining steady employment is often a condition of parole. Gainful employment promotes stability and reduces the temptation to return to criminal activity. Thirdly, travel restrictions are common. Parolees are typically not allowed to leave the state without explicit permission from their parole officer. This restriction helps maintain supervision and prevents potential flight to evade justice. Of course, these are just a few examples. Other conditions might include mandatory drug testing, adherence to curfews, and avoidance of certain people or places. Remember, parole is not a right, but a privilege. It's an opportunity for individuals to prove they can live responsibly and contribute positively to society, all while serving the remainder of their sentence in the community rather than behind bars. Now we have a good understanding of both probation and parole, but what sets them apart? Probation and parole, two sides of the same coin, yet distinct, but how? You may find yourself asking this question as we delve deeper into the intricacies of the criminal justice system. So let's unravel the key differences that set probation and parole apart. At their core, probation and parole are both alternatives to incarceration. They share a common goal of rehabilitating offenders and reintegrating them into society. However, their paths diverge right from the start. Probation is a part of the sentencing process itself. It's a chance given to the offender at the outset. Instead of serving time behind bars, they remain in the community under supervision. Parole, on the other hand, comes into play after an offender has served part of their sentence in prison. It's a conditional release granted by a parole board based on the offender's behavior and progress while incarcerated. Now let's talk about the conditions. Both probation and parole come with a set of rules to follow, but here's the catch. The terms of probation are usually determined by the judge at the time of sentencing, while the terms of parole are set by the parole board at the time of release. The level of supervision also varies. Probation might involve more rigorous supervision with regular check-ins with a probation officer, mandatory counseling sessions, drug tests, and so on. Parole, while still supervised, may have a bit more leniency with fewer check-ins depending on the offender's behavior and the nature of their crime. And what about the consequences of violating these terms? Well, they can be severe in both cases. A probation violation might lead to the imposition of additional penalties or even a jail sentence. A parole violation, however, can result in an immediate return to prison. And there you have it, the key differences between probation and parole. Remember, both aim at reintegrating offenders into society, but their execution and conditions vary.